It's been a little while since we've checked in with the Jaguar. Some of you guys were wondering where it went. A few of you wrote me wondering if I blew it up. I think they were referring to the nitrous in the trunk. But the truth is, this car has been rock solid since I bought it. And I still drive it pretty much every single week. But soon, Jaguar will no longer be mine. Here, let me explain. Over in the barn is a new project car that I picked up from Copart. No, it's not the pizza car. Here, let me zoom in for you guys and give you a better look. Can you see it back there behind the air compressor? So to make room for that, the Jaguar is going up for sale, but this is not going to be your typical sale. I'm selling it at Copart. Now you guys know that I buy all my project cars at Copart and soon one of my project cars will be for sale at Copart. It's just a testament to the huge variety of cars that Copart has. Copart has everything ranging from Ferraris and Lamborghinis and soon a blue Jaguar will be in their inventory. As a matter of fact, if you guys scroll down and check out the link in the description box below, you will see the live auction link for this car right here. Now on the day of the sale, we're going to have a live stream with a bunch of giveaways. I'm gonna have phone lines open for call-ins. Maybe have a few fellow YouTubers join me. Make sure you mark your calendars for the sale date and time. We'll obviously be streaming an hour or two before. You'll see the notification pop up and I will continually update you through the YouTube community section to let you know exactly when we're gonna go live. Now I wanna thank Copart for being such an integral part of this channel and sponsoring this video. And I wanna let you guys know that while you're on Copart's site checking out the Jaguar, make sure you check out their 2018 Rebuild Challenge. This is a contest that Copart holds every single year where you can buy a car from them, either rebuild it, or really customize it, make it your own. The Jaguar could be a future contestant for this rebuild contest that they hold. Chris from B is for Build won this contest a few years in a row. There are some really amazing submissions. Definitely go and check it out. And be sure that if you end up finding a car you're interested in on Copar, document the process. If you don't take some video, take some photos and submit either this year in 2018 or maybe in the future years for the Copart Rebuild Challenge. Now before I go ahead and drop this car off in Georgia, I wanna button up a few things I just haven't had the time to get to. The rain allows the first item of business is that right there. It's the side marker that's been missing for a long time. A viewer of the channel by the name of Brian contacted me through email and said, hey, I got your Jaguar side marker. And then he explained to me that he goes along to pick your part yards, finding parts that he knows are desirable enough to resell online, which is just another cool niche way to make money on old cars or wrecked cars. But anyway, he saw a Jaguar S type at the pick your part yard he had seen that mine was missing as you guys can see there in the distance missing and he picked off both sides because he wasn't sure which side I needed so again huge thanks to Brian I'm gonna link his Instagram and his uh, YouTube in the description box below and this sort of stuff saves me a ton of time because believe it or not it's hard to find sometimes random pieces like a side marker of a 14 year old Jaguar in most cases they don't even make parts like that anymore so again Brian Ryan, huge thumbs up. Thank you so much. And thanks so much to everybody for watching. You guys are awesome. Push, push, push it real good. Ooh. Wow, that looks much better now. The whole car's complete. It's got all the side markers on it. Now, if you guys remember when I painted these wheels gunmetal gray, they've got a finish on them that actually shifts in the light. Now they need to be cleaned up for that. They've got a lot of dirt and debris and of course it's wet outside right now. So uh, that's no good. But one of the things I don't think I showed you guys was that I got these kind of custom color match center caps. They've got the British Racing Blue Jaguar symbol on them. So that's really neat. And then of course I painted the front calipers red. Now if you remember correctly, just the front calipers were painted red. I didn't get a chance to do the rears. But when the rain stopped for a moment, I was able to go ahead, jack the rear of the car up really quick and check it out. They're completely matching now. So all four corners of the car have the red calipers. This thing looks really, really mean on the outside now. My original video when I bought the Jaguar came with a check engine light. Let's see if that still pops on for us here. 
I'm pretty sure I know why that's there, but we're gonna confirm using our code reader and then we're gonna try and repair that. All right, so the engine is on. I've got my code reader hooked up. This is a C Reader 3001, as you guys can see. This is a very basic entry level code reader, but it's really, really good and really simple and quick when you're just talking about looking up check engine codes. In the upcoming build, you'll see me use my more advanced code reader, which does like ABS codes and SRS codes, which are your airbag codes. But for just check engine codes, these are much quicker and easier to use. So here we go. P0400 EGR code. That's exactly what I thought it was. What we're going to do now is open up the hood. We're going to check out and see if we can't clean the EGR valve in this car. I got to give a shout out to Chris Fix. I watched his video on EGR replacement and cleaning. And basically, he'll show you exactly how to locate it and how to take it out and remove it. So our EGR valve is somewhere buried behind all of this stuff here. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna be fun. It's funny because on his video, he did it on a Corvette, a C4 Corvette, and he could literally just slip it out just by reaching in the back of the engine bay and grabbing it. We're gonna have to disassemble a lot of the stuff here. All right, I have some bad news. I want you to take a look at all of the ratchets and wrenches and everything I have out right now. That's everything I use to get out literally, I think four or six screws and two nuts that were in there. I've taken out everything but two screws that are located underneath that right there. That's the bottom of the EGR. In the almost hour of trying to get to those with all the different tools I just showed you and even thinking of different options, I don't think there's any way to get to them without either one, getting someone with really tiny, dainty hands. And please make no mistake, these hands are so large, they're so powerful, they're not meant for working on Jaguars. Jaguars. Jaguars or pull the entire engine out from the car because even if you were to get from underneath the car and take all the skid plates out, well, you've got a heck of a time fitting in between that transmission tunnel there. So that means that I'll be spending probably another hour here reassembling, putting everything back together. The only good news out of this is that that EGR really doesn't do much. A lot of people are gonna argue that with me in the comment section, go right ahead and do so but it doesn't affect the way the car runs, drives, performance, or anything. So it's gonna stay the way it is. All right, everything is back as it was. The only thing I could do is I did get a little bit of carb cleaner down in that EGR tube. Now, usually you would wanna go ahead and use like a pipe cleaner and clean all that out, and that would probably assist with the code. We'll see what happens right now. I did go and I did clear the code using the code scanner right here. So let's start her up and let's see if our trouble codes actually went off and stayed off. That EGR is electronic, so uh, I would assume it would throw a trouble code. Okay, so our light is off. Oh, there it goes, it came right back on. So yeah, didn't do anything. Here we go, we're gonna merge into traffic here and we just give it a little bit of gas. The only problem is it's all wet on the road outside, so. Lower wine is something else. It's really one of the louder cars I've heard. Hey, let's downshift it here.
For a heavy car, it's amazing because it does handle pretty decent. It's definitely not the best, but it comes out and it pulls out of those corners, man. This is like my version of a one take with Matt Farah. Oh, see, this is exactly like my version of a one take with Matt Farah. A guy with a big van and a uh, trailer comes and pulls out in front of you. So if any of you guys at home end up winning the bid on this Jaguar and taking it home, I'm actually going to include kind of an extra package with it. It will include one of these code scanners so that, of course, you guys can check out if there's anything wrong with the car or any of your other cars. And it's going to include a few other things, namely a few other nitrous jets in case you want to turn up the nitrous shot. Although, you know, make sure you do your research before you do that. And a handful of other goodies that I'll show you guys in an upcoming video that make this car a tremendous value, especially because I think it'll sell around a couple thousand dollars maybe and for that much I don't think you can get a faster car for a couple thousand bucks. Well the Jaguar isn't a hundred percent it drives really solid pretty much everything on it works and I think it looks great with its new blue paint color although some of you guys have had different things to say in the comments section. However, keep in mind everything I've shown you in today's video and what you've seen in the Copart link below and give me your best guess as to what you think the Jaguar is going to sell for. Make sure you join me during the live stream when this car is auctioned off at Copart. I'll be having a handful of giveaways, hopefully a few YouTubers can join me and also I'll have the phone lines open so you guys can call in. Now as always if you have any questions be sure to contact me using the links in the description box below and if you enjoyed this one be sure shirt to give it a huge like. Thanks a whole lot for watching and I will catch you very soon.